and it was a top secret weapons factory 70 years ago. Now one of the men who designed it goes back for the very first time. Very interesting. Nearly 70 years ago, work began on a secret weapons factory in the countryside near Mould. The valley works at Sri Moines produced mustard gas and munitions for the war effort in huge underground tunnels. Now one of the senior engineers who helped to design the site has returned for the first time since the war. Shedding some light on the dim and distant past, former civil engineer Sir Eric Driver is back at the valley works. The 96-year-old is reliving his time as a principal architect of the site. He suggested fitting a 90,000-square-foot false ceiling throughout these tunnels to house the ventilation system. I was heavily imbued with the idea that everything I was doing at that time had to be important because uh, it was uh, taking place at a time when we were no means assured of victory. Uh, and in fact, uh, um, the general mood of the public was, on the whole, fairly pessimistic. I was quite determined in myself that uh, there was only one answer and we had to win. When he was last here, it was a very different place. 1,700 people working in secret, stockpiled mustard gas and bombs. Sir Eric worked on the infrastructure, including diverting a two-mile stretch of river around the site. His handiwork is still in evidence. The, the history of the works has been closely researched and carefully preserved by a group of volunteers. They're delighted that their invited guests can bring that history to life. Uh, it's his grasp of things, uh, it's his pick up on, on, on things. He's telling me names of seven people in the section, he's telling me the names of them. So from what he's telling me and my background as an analyst, I will be able to research a lot more things and find more people. And. Uh, 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 we're so lucky to have him here. He's 96 years old. It's ironic that a place so synonymous with war and weaponry is now a peaceful habitat for wildlife. The buildings created by Sir Eric and his contemporaries are the only shells that remain. Sir Eric's engineering know-how was the driving force behind getting large parts of the valley works up and running. His creations were only designed to last for three years, but they're still standing more than 60 years on. Matthew Richards, BBC Wales Today, Free Des Moines.